I'm Josh Mosquera, the game director of Reaper Souls. Uh, my name is Christian Leitner, I'm the art director for Reaper of Souls. Oh, uh, see, see we, we, we can't give everything out at once, <laughs> you know, because then, then, then people would ask for more. Yeah. Um, so no, we're really happy to, uh, you know, and not just unveil Reaper Souls and introduce a new class and a new act. Um, that's really our, our focus right now. For PvP, we don't have any, any sort of further announcements, except that uh, it's, it's, it's a question we're constantly asking ourselves. We really want to find the right way, the right mode to express a, a PvP mode in Diablo. So there are there are, there are experimentations so right now and we hope one of them will eventually bear fruit and then then everybody will be happy with the answer but until then it's just experiments so loot runs is one of the, the new features that we're adding for you know what we call end game for everyone and again we want to give players as many different options when it comes to playing sort of Diablo 3 after they've beaten the story and one of those these is loot runs the loot run is a you know 15 to 20 minute dungeon that is fully randomized like everything about it the layout the lighting the weather the monsters the bosses at the end and essentially you're going to so you start at level one and and you go do a couple of levels you're going to fight the boss and you're going to walk away with with some pretty cool loot so it's a a, a condensed version of diablo and uh, that everybody can play and enjoy it's really fun because what, what ends up happening is um, you will encounter uh, monsters and bosses in areas that you've never played in before. So it, it mixes things up quite a bit because you know different layouts affect how you play the game or how you fight the monsters and obviously the different monsters as well. So uh, that's very exciting for us. Oh, so what's the, the inspiration for the Crusader? You know what? It, I think it's 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 it, it comes from two places, um, at least at least from like, the gameplay side of things. One is, you know, for a, a game that, like Diablo, so it's a, it's a dark gothic medieval role-playing game, it just made sense to have a, a class that was all about big armor, big shield, the flails. Uh, so we really sort of started there, so like it's, it's, it's one of the archetypes that is missing from our, from our, from our sort of family of, of classes. And then we also saw an opportunity to, to link the Crusader to the to the, to, to the paladin, so that we sort of have a nod to the past, while at the same time allowing us the freedom to really come up with really cool skills that really allow players to experience short range and mid range combat at the same time. Yeah, you, you covered it. That's perfect. So, so that's a so it's a really good question. So yes, the the new Paragon system is account wide. There's no level cap anymore for the par Paragon. It is true that every time you level up, you're going to be gaining a Paragon point that you can spend it for, each of, for each of your classes. And that will allow you to, to sort of spend points in, in to increase your statistics, like you know, your, your strength and your, 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 your vitality. Now, we're, we're in, a, in the process of sort of fine-tuning that system. And uh, there will be a theoretical cap on the number of, of how many, how many sort of Paragon points you can sort of invest in a single category. But we're still trying to find the right, the right number for that but again the the we have five category four categories with uh, i think a, a anywhere from uh four to six s sub items in each category so there's a lot of different places where you can be putting points so well, there'll be a new secret level well it wouldn't be very secret, secret if we said anything about it. <laughs> about it yeah so you know what we're gonna say yes <laughs> Oh, you know, I think, uh, well, let me say a little bit about that. I think for us, the best villains or the best uh, uh, bad guys are guys that are, that are not so clearly defined, you know, where uh, if you can see it from their point of view and you sort of understand what their motivations are. Uh, at the same time, uh, what their actions maybe are questionable. And I think that always makes for the best villains because you really, uh, you know, um, Darth Vader is a great villain, right? Um, uh, because of, I feel those elements are present. And I think in that regard, we're really trying to make sure that those kind of things deliver on that level. Um, yeah, I would say, so is, is Malthael a good or bad guy? Um, I think what I really like about uh, Malthael, right? I mean, first of all, he's a fallen angel, 
right? So um, can angels go bad is a really sort of fun question to, to wrestle with. But I think what really sort of drives a lot of the, the, the drama of this act is he thinks, he's, he thinks he is right. That to him, to end the internal conflict means he needs to, needs to destroy all traces of demons, even if that means killing every single human being on earth, right? So I think it's, a, you know, what they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. So I think Maltheo is a good, good example of that. So, so, so right now we're still sort of tweaking and we're trying to pick our favorites because uh, one of the great things of being working on a game like Diablo is that we have a lot of really smart people and really creative people so we come up with a lot of ideas and then it's a process of narrowing it down to picking the ones that make a lot of sense. So um, I mean, right now um, we haven't really settled on, on, on any of them that we can really announce but what we're trying to do for all the existing classes is look at the, 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 um, the skills that we shipped originally, which skills uh, are not being used a lot, and then trying to figure out how we can make them more, more useful. And then trying to f pinpoint a few skills that really help us sort of help make that class feel different and special in its own, in its own way. So, so right now, um, again, we, we're introducing a new, a new class, right? So you'll be able to play from like, you know, Act 1 all the way to Act 5 in like 24 to 30 hours. But Act 5 specifically, depending on, it's a, it's a very randomized sort of playthrough. So sometimes it could be a little longer, a little, a little shorter, but we're aiming for something that's about the same length as Act 2. And again, the real longevity of Reaper Souls will come in all the new endgame options that we'll talk about shortly. You know, it's uh, it's. I think it's been a, it's a really really fun day. I mean, I think Reaper Souls is. I mean, with the new class, uh, the new act, uh, the all the changes we're doing to loot is. Uh, I think a really really great new chapter for Diablo. But for me, the the thing I love is, you know, the promise that, you know, which there is the hero I know who wouldn't try to stop death, right? So they, they at the heart of it is yes, it's a dark and it's a more gothic chapter, but like. The player has something worthy to strive for. It's just a, it's a really cool fantasy. Uh, same thing. So uh, I can say, like, well, um, I hope you uh, you guys like what you saw today with the yes, the, the, the announcement. We're really really excited, and um, in some ways, it, it feels uh, like a great new chapter for Diablo. Yep. Okay, awesome. Thank you, thank for you guys. Time. Thank Thanks. you very much.